Matt, you said you read this play as a teenager and you would take any role that was offered to you. You would read for any role. What did it mean, though, to get the role of Felix? Oh, I was, I mean, the most unbelievable gift I ever could have asked for as an actor. I mean, this play, when I read it, changed my life. It changed my worldview. It, it lit a fire in me that no one around me living in suburban Texas was talking about this or doing anything about it. And to get to be a part of this love story of these two people who find, find each other and are so symbiotic and... Um, I think there was, you know, something about the way Felix compartmentalizes his life when we see him at the New York Times at the beginning of the film that I understood. And finding someone like Ned who opens him up and helps him to be a more authentic human being was something I felt like I had experienced in my life. So I was just glad that I got to parlay that, I guess. Well, both characters share a love that changes them into better human beings. That's sort of that's the transformation that we see as characters. But there's also the physical transformation that you went through. You lost 40 pounds. I, I stopped weighing myself at a certain point because I felt that it wasn't the important thing to focus on. When Ryan was happy with with the aesthetic, and I just thought, I, let me just go to work and not worry about this anymore. I, you weren't, was, you, weren't, you weren't worried about your health or anything while you were doing it? It's such a dramatic transformation. I felt, to be honest with you, the profound thing for me, A, it, it was so important to me that I didn't really, it was worth whatever risk was involved. But secondly, the thinner I got or the more my health was compromised, the more profound my uh, fight for, I, I had more of a lust for life than I've ever had. So I think... That's what I wanted to discover and try to bring to Felix and to their relationship was not the suffering, but the desire to live. What was it like seeing him having lost so much weight? Because you guys shut down production for a little while, mm -hmm. right? And then he came back. Yeah. Was that shocking? <clears throat> yes. It was oh, very yeah. shocking. I remember I have known Matt for years. And you know, a lot of people wanted this role. It's a, it's a great role. It's one of the, the great roles, I think. And Matt was the only person who came in for that first meeting who was medically prepared. He knew what to do. He had spoken to the right doctors. Without even getting the part, he talked to me about how he would walk differently and how his voice would change. And so when we took that break and we came back, he would send me pictures and I would always say, please get your blood checked so that you're fine. I was nervous. And when I saw him, he was getting his hair cut and I walked in and I don't even know that he knows this. I somewhat, I, I was um, emotional. I was very upset. But, you know, all the actors went to that dark place for this material and um, I was just, you know, thankful that they, particularly Matt, had that dedication because that's, that's hard stuff. That's, yeah. that's really, really, really hard stuff. But we were all concerned. We would all you know, check in on him every two minutes because, you know... You want some when, water? Do you need more water? Well, yeah. also, you know, Matt was just so physically weak yeah. that he would have to sit in the same place between takes, between lighting setups, just so that his energy could be brought out in that performance. So it was a very wow. moving thing that to really, witness. What impact do you hope this film has on a young audience or on any audience, Matt? I hope that a younger generation will look at this incredibly brave group of people who, and one thing that I think Ryan and Larry captured so beautifully in the film is that activism is not easy. It's messy. There were so many different points of view in the gay community at the time, but they did band together and were really the catalyst in many ways for the civil rights that we have today. I wouldn't be able to get married if it weren't for these people. And it's easy to be born into certain times and take certain things for granted, but I hope people appreciate what this generation of lovers and parents and, and teachers and artists and everything else went through for us and, and you know, the shoulders we stand on to have the rights we have today. It really lends itself to that kind of um, ferociousness and it's, I know that Ryan only hired me because he loves to see me be mad. 